What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Chantelle Lace coming at you with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about all about this makeup look, all these new products that I tested out and the Morphe foundation. Does it really last 24 hours? So if you want to hear my thoughts and opinions, stay tuned. back you guys yay so glad you're here to join me i am doing a review on the morphe foundation if you have not seen my morphe haul video i will link that down below but i went to the morphe store and i picked up a few items and i wanted to test them out so i did film a get ready with me video and lo and behold my dumb mm, had to delete it on accident because I was cleaning my camera out and deleting stuff out of there and I accidentally deleted it so you guys didn't get you know I didn't have the footage anymore and I just so look I'm sorry I didn't get to film me putting the look on but we can talk about the look I'll tell you how long I've had the look on when I started my makeup what time is it now and so forth and get your opinions because I am wearing the Morphe foundation right now yay so to start off, we're going to be talking about the Morphe Flu Fluidity Foundation. It's full coverage foundation and it's supposed to be uh, sweat proof, humidity proof, uh, resistant, transfer resistant, and um, last 24 hours. So, I got ready this morning around 5 a.m. It was around 5.15 when I started, you know, getting my makeup on and doing all of that. It is now 10.15. So, you do the math, you know what I'm saying? So, it did last, in my opinion. It still looks good. I did not really have to retouch her. I did have to blot a couple times because, you know, I'm a little oily in the T area here and there. But I did not have to really retouch my makeup today or anything of that nature. So I am pleased with this. But the shade I did get is F3 um, 110. So that's the shade I got. Um, I did get the, the Morphe sponge. And I, I, I gotta say I don't really like it. To be honest with you. Um, when I, I used it to apply the foundation. And I did not like how it looked. I did not like how it applied. So I wiped it off. And I used this e.l.f. foundation brush. And I love the way it applied with this. And then if I had any little streakage or whatever, I just, you know, dotted, you know, blended the streakage out. Just boom, 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 patted it out. But as far as trying to apply my foundation, I don't know. I don't really like this. I've never had, like, a beauty blender, you know, like, from the actual beauty blender company. I've always had dupes, like, just sponges and stuff like that. And this just feels very different than what I'm used to. And I feel like it sucked up a lot of the product. Like my, I, I felt like my face just looks too natural. And you can still see um, like some of my hyperpigmentation, scarring and stuff like that. And I did not like that. So I, I just won't get this again. And um, what else did I use on my face today? Oh yeah, so what else I used on my face today so after I did my foundation, I had to do my eyes. And what I used was the um, Super Stay Better Skin Concealer with acrylic. It says acidic, atylic, atylic, oil-free. I can't, I can't pronounce it. Okay, I'm sorry. But it is moisturizing. But what I did is I put this on my eyelids and sometimes just all around my eyes to give it a little brightness. But... I use this as a base or primer, as you would say, for my eyeshadows. Today, I did not really wear eyeshadow. What I did is I used my Black Radiance Palette by True Complexion, and I used that to do my contouring, as you know. And since I knew I was going to go for a vampy lip or a red lip, I went on and just put the same color that I contoured with all over my eyelid. So I put it all over my eyelid. As you see, this is my favorite um, contour palette because I've hit pan. And I put that all over my eyelid and it just, 
just kind of gives it like it's, it's, it matches my color and it just gives it kind of a defined look and everybody's kind of like oh every, i got so complimented today and i'm just like dude i do my makeup like this is how i do my makeup every day except for i do not wear a red lip every day and i didn't have any eyeshadow on i just literally have that on and everybody's just like oh my god oh my god you look so good oh my god and i'm like what when i have my eyeshadow colors on i don't look good boo like what's up like i just look good today when i got i barely got any makeup on it's just pretty much my lip because my whole face the contour the highlight all of that in foundation I, every day so yeah i don't know but i also to set my face i use the fenty beauties pro filter setting powder and i have it in banana and i'm telling you guys for the price i've had this for a good what six five six months somewhere in there and it's still and i use this pretty much every day this is my go-to unless i try other ones because i do like um the jeffree star um setting powder and i do like um the maybelline uh matte oil free set me powder loose loose setting powder it's really really nice i like that and i like the fit me too but this has just been my go-to and it's just so much in here for the price it's not bad at all and i mean just look how cute she is you know so i use that to set under my eyes my chin right here everywhere that i highlighted to highlight today i used the jeffree star concealer in c16 i did not bring that downstairs with me in my um filming area that is back in my vanity so yeah that's what i used and i just set it with the, the banana powder and then as you know i contoured with my black radiance palette and for my blush i used my holy grail um, this is from BH Cosmetics, the Forever Nude uh, Contour and Sculpting Palette. As you can see, this is my fave, one of my favorites for blushes because I've never touched these two. I've only hit the blush up and I've used some of this as highlight. So I used that as well. And I just lined my eyes with um, the Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black and to do my water line or my you know under to line under my eye i did the um it's called this is by sconey it's the insanely intense tattooed mini waterproof eyeliner in jet black so this is what i use to do my water line you guys and so to set my face i did pick up the morphe continuous continuous setting spray and i love it oh my god i have never bought this before i've never like just thought about getting it i mean i've heard things and stuff like that but i've just always stuck with mac and i didn't really like mac like <sighs> so max um you know setting spray the prep and prime i'm not sure the exact name it's nice and everything, but I do feel if you're a little too close, it kind of, your face feels wet. And I don't like feeling wet when I don't put these powders and stuff on. It's like, oh my God, like, uh, you know, fan me now. But with this, it's like you don't feel wet and it's like continuous. It's like an even spray. It's just, just refreshing and beautiful. I love it. And it has a nice little scent to it, so i'm just oh my gosh so i'm do like i'm liking my look for today that setting spray oh my gosh but for my um eyes you know i'm wearing lashes which are the dodo lashes in 207 you know my go-to lashes if you've been watching my channel you've heard me mention these lashes several times but um i use this uh mascara it's called the liquid lash extensions by thrive cosmetics and i got this i can't remember if it was a boxy charm an allure beauty or what but i got this in one of my boxes and it's pretty nice i use this under all my bottom lashes and my tops to blend with my um falsies so that was nice 
And for my lip, I'm use I'm wearing the Ultra Matte Lip. This is the Shayla Times Color Pop Season 10. She came out with this with her first collab, and it's in, of course, red. And that's what I'm wearing, and I am loving it. Like, mm, 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 mm. I should have worn my Lauren because this red dress more is orangey. And I had just opened my uh, um, my Laura Times Hilda Beauty Box. And the Lauren um, lipstick was in there. And it's more this color. But I couldn't find it. And I just opened that box. So it's somewhere, y'all. Like, I have a box of products of, like, you know, I just did a couple of hauls. So all that stuff has to get organized into makeup area because it's just... It's a hot mess right now because I just got that lipstick and I don't know where it's at exactly. So I will be looking out for that, but that would be a perfect red to match this dress exactly because this red dress has more of an orangey tone to it. But yeah, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to talk about some new products I had got um, and tried out and let you go, guys know my thoughts. I really do like it. Um, it hasn't, you know, it definitely ain't been no 24 hours, but it's definitely been over 12. It's been about, what, 17, 18 hours, somewhere in there. So... And she's still holding up really, really nice. I really do like her. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments area. If you guys think this foundation is a go, whatnot. But I think it went really good with my face, my skin tone. And yeah. So I'm really, really pleased with this foundation. But this is a good foundation. I would recommend it if you are an oily gal. Because it does keep you matte. It says it's good for all skin types. But you know... I'm not sure. I'm not a dry gal, so I'm not sure how this would do for you. I just know it does great for my skin. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will be having that giveaway video I've been talking about up tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, I know tomorrow is Fashion Fridays, but we might have to either put up two videos or we might have to just, you know, push Fashion Fridays to another day. Because I know y'all ready for the giveaway and I'm ready for it too. So let me know in the comment section, should we just do two videos on Friday or push Fashion Fridays back? Let me know and who whatever the most outcome is nays yays for do two videos not two videos whatever i will do so if you want me to do two videos tomorrow i will so that's all i have for tonight i know i said that before mm, 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 mm. and remember stay fly and shine bye you guys